What is going on, y'all? It's your boy, Nathan Bowden here for another live stream. Yeah, I forgot to put up a, a thing like at least a day ago to remind people about today. But, you know, it is what it is. Look nice, huh? It look at the nice. It look at the nice. Look pretty. So, anybody here? Anybody want to talk about stuff? So, right now, just killing time. See if anybody's going to show up. If not, hey, Toy Kingdom Nick. First man in the chat. What's going on, sir? How's it going? Like I said, oh, JC the Great. You guys doing? Oh, my brother's here. All right, all right. I was just killing some time until you guys showed up. Got these prints. I got these. Like I said, I was just killing time. How's everybody doing? How's the weekend? What you guys got going for the weekend? I was, uh, so, the highlight was going to be cool. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Cool. I am glad. That Keith Lee. Pure dopeness. Yeah, yeah. I try to do every Friday. Oh, man. So, look at it. It's pretty nice, right? Pretty nice. I'll finish that up later. Nice. Oh. Yeah, I got like mm, I got a lot of prints. I'm trying to you know some custom stuff. I'm trying to get put in frames. That's one of my favorites. And then I like this. I don't know if I can see that. So it's like all in game in one poster. Yeah, 
Yeah, I bought the last three years. I've bought a lot of artwork. It's man. All right, let's let's check the chat. So we got Mr. Toy Kingdom Nick, the man behind getting me three out of the four. Three out of the four WWE Motus. Mr. JC the Great. That man right here. Where are you? We'll go like that. Then go that. Then go that. Mr. JC the Great. Responsible for that logo. Right there. Right there. Thank you, sir. That's my brother. So, bro, I'm going to catch my brother is on Twitch. He's got a live stream at five today. I forget what he's, I don't, I forget what he's playing today. But he'll be going live on Twitch at five. If, if you want to catch my brother's live stream on Twitch, you can go to my about page and uh, I have a link to his Twitch channel there. Dude, I hope you enjoy that, Keithley. Man, that's a toy slammer. Mmm, toy slammer. Just chilling today. Yeah, it was like a... So I got this BB-8 for my wife. But I got this for me. It's pretty cool. It's by an artist named Jeff Pena. Mr. John Joker. Still got the comic book, still got the letter. Still got it. I'll show it off later. Show it off later. Orlando Flores. <laughs> welcome, welcome. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a few more. Like, yeah, because I got like so I got that one. I got that one. Those are mine. And then these two are my wife's. Nope. 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 Go bang, bang, bang. Pew, pew, pew. Bang, bang, bang. Pew, pew, pew. So, she's a big Deadpool person. Yeah, I got it. Brother. Bruh, I got lots, lots. What's up, Pop McFly? Welcome to the live stream, sir. Welcome. I am glad you are able to make it. I'm always appreciative of everybody that comes in here. Everybody that shows up. So... Fig Freak, welcome, welcome. Glad you could make it. Glad you could make it. So, yeah, if you're curious about that logo, you can talk to JC the Great. That man is amazing. And his, dude, his freaking channel is fantastic. Is there... Who's a mod? I forget who's mods. But if you are, please put a link for JC the Great. Please. In there. Because his reviews are fantastic. And you can slap that like anytime you want. You don't have to do it when you when you first come in. You do it before you leave, whatever. 
likes, subscribe, share. My biggest thing is sharing this out. If you guys share the live streams, the reviews, the hunts, whatever, share that stuff out, that makes me appreciative of everything because sharing puts more eyes on the channel, more eyes, brings more family. So just remember, yeah, I just, sorry, I completely blinked out. And like, I never done this before. So, oh, how many wrestling fans we got in here? Because today was a good day. Yesterday was a horrible day. Horrible. Oh. Yeah, yesterday they fired. I'm sorry, they released 10 wrestlers at least. We don't know how many behind the scenes people, production, whatnot, but they let go of 10 people. Like, no joke. Samoa Joe was probably my biggest. Like, how do you let go of Samoa Joe? And maybe Billy Kay. How do you let go of Billy Kay? Billy Kay was at WrestleMania. And then you let her go. Samoa Joe was commenting WrestleMania. And then you let him go. How in the blue blankety blank hell did you let go of them? Mojo Raleigh got it. Haven't seen him since WrestleMania, I think last year, when he helped out Gronk. Peyton Royce, the one female that I don't think I saw at WrestleMania, she could have been involved in an angle somewhere. Who else? Thank you, Mr. Joker. Mr. Joker, thank you. Yeah, Bo Dallas. Everybody had been talking about Bo Dallas possibly being involved in the whole fiend angle. And you're telling me, you're telling me that Bo Dallas couldn't have brought something to the table? Bruh, that's... That's... You had, they had such an opportunity there, such an opportunity. And they said, no, unless this is a whole angle for Bo, like it did Drake Maverick, but I highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. What's up, Sia? I hope you're doing better. I hope you're feeling better soon. Blue Harvest. Vintage toys. Welcome. 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 Glad you could be here. We're just talking about a little bit of wrestling before I get into some of the stuff I got. Some of the stuff I've been waiting to just open. Like, just fiending. Fiending. Oh, yeah. Hit that like. Hit that friends and family button. Share this stuff out. What up, Clink? Man, we got eight, I mean, six people in the building. In the building. Six eyes on here. Damn, I am so good. Nah, it's cool. It's cool. Your health is more important than a hunt. So don't worry about that. You know, we can always figure out another time somewhere down the road. I'm be a little busy for a while, but we can always figure something out down the road.
Oh, um, Blue Harvest, you and me, you and me. I was just about to get to there. Well, me personally, uh, what am I looking for? I'm, me personally, I'm probably just looking for like, you know, the Hangman Adam Page or, um, but here's the thing. They just, like, they didn't announce, they didn't announce new figures. They just showed, uh, painted, you know, versions of, like, the finished versions of Series 5. And so, let me share this video or this screen with y'all. Because I, this is one I wanted to talk about. So this is from Dark Prime Toys Instagram. Pew. Oh, no. That's the released wrestlers. Yeah. Samoa Joe, Billy Kay. But look, Series 5. Series 5. Man. So you got that Luchasaurus is bad. A. That's some badass shit. Sorry. Try not to curse. Try not to curse. But that's pretty dope. Look at this. That's one I'm going to have to get. That Luchasaurus. It's a dude with a dinosaur mask who can fly around the ring. Come on. Nah, I'm not getting Jungle Boy. He looks a little too plain. Just too plain. Now this Frankie Kazarian, that Frankie Kazarian, I wasn't gonna get him at first, but What's up, super awesome geek? Show. How's it going? Just looking at some wrestling figures from AEW. The new ones, since they just put out pictures of them complete. That Frankie Kazarian, I wasn't going to get him, but it's got the tag team titles. So. I have to get Frankie Kazaria. And if you get Frankie, gotta get Cor Scorpio Sky. Got to. So I'm getting so Luchasaurus, Scorpio Sky, and Frankie Kazaria. And then Adam Page. Hangman Adam Page. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm 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 thinking about it. Thinking about it. But it's like since they've started showing up, but I'm afraid because they're showing up, I don't know. I don't know what because I don't see, I haven't seen series 4 yet. So But look, Hangman Adam Page comes with comes with a mug for his beer like like that's a gallon right there I think so he can feed him so he can he can he can have his own drinks and give some to his friends but I think that's his that's his cup like that's how much he'll drink on his own yeah See, that's the thing. If you don't get Frankie Kazarian, how are you going to have the tag team titles? You can only have one unless you buy two Scorpio Skies. Plus, plus, hold on a second. Let's go back. Let's go back. 
Look at the soft goods jacket. It says SCU. SCU. I think it might have a hood on it too. I mean, how often are you going to get a Frankie Kazarian figure too? Scorpio Sky, Hangman Adam Page. And then you get John Moxley. I'm not a big fan of John Moxley. And I got Chris Jericho, a little bit of the bubbly, so I got the belt. So I'm not really interested in that. But I don't know. Moxley's cool. It's cool than the other side of the pillow. I mean, massively articulated. They're all seriously articulated. Uh, it looks like him. Like, it's definitely looking like him. And then, you know, he's got his, like, almost camo pants with, like, like a leather jacket. Like a leather vest. So, if you, you know... If you want to get as many John, different John Moxley's as you can, go for it. So then you got the rare Hangman Adam Page. So I think this is the one in 500 because they got rare and chases. See? Yeah. See? That's what I'm saying gotta have the tag team titles because I got Riho for the women's title I got Jericho for the men's title pre-ordered Cody for the red TNT title I'm hoping they come out with the black the black version because I like that one better but now I need Scorpio Sky and Kazarian to get the tag titles and I'll be up to date so Yeah, I did go out. Yeah, it was pretty quick, though. I was just, you know, I went in. I uh, didn't really pick up anything. But I'll show you guys some of the stuff I picked up over the last week. But, yeah, this, this is the chase. This is the rare. That's the chase. So that's like one in 1,000, I think. So, different pants. Now he's got a shirt on under the vest. And he's got that bandage over his eye. Which, look, if I got that chase, you doggone right I would. I, if I found that chase in the wild, i get it. I'm not, pay, I'm not paying extra on site or pre-ordering or whatever. Nah. What's up, TW? Yeah, I'm almost almost got all the titles. Almost. Just need that Cody and the SCU tag titles. So almost. I mean, I love action figure titles. I have a lot. Because, so I want to get that, you know, I think, was it Bam Bam Bigelow figure? Comes out with the ECW television title. And then, um, what else? Mick Foley. The pre-order for Mick Foley. Comes out with one half of the ECW tag titles. Oh, I need those. I need to find that Bam Bam Bigelow when it comes out. I think it's like Legends 11. 10 or 11. I think it's 11, though. Because I think 10 is about to come out with uh, Vader. So, oh, but I don't know. No, it's all right. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad, bro. It's okay. Like I said, 
you got to feel better before anything else. Like, so I would get a Moxley if it was the Chase or Rare. Like, this Chase one, I'd get that if I found it in the wild. Otherwise, I'm not pre-ordering the Chase. I'm not pre-ordering. I'm not going to even buy it from ringside if it's made available real quickly. Nope. I'll find If I find a Rare or a Chase in the wild, I'll pick it up easily. So... Yeah, well, Luchasaurus, I'm going to get it. Frankie, Kazarian, Scorpio Sky, and then Hangman Adam Page. I'll get them. I will pre-order them. Yeah, I pre-ordered, I pre-ordered Cactus Jack. That's a ringside exclusive. I'm definitely getting that. Like I said, I just need that Vader. Not Vader. Bam Bam Bigelow. I mean, it'd be cool just to have a Bam Bam Bigelow figure. If I find that Vader in the wild, I'll definitely get that too. But Bigelow's number one first. He is a number one. So. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I liked SCU bef one before they edit Scorpio Sky and two before they were SCU. When they were like, I think they were bad business. When they were in like, when they were in TNA, like right before they left. And then they went to ROH for a little bit. Or they just ran the indie circuit. Like, I liked them there. I even had them autograph my wrestling belt. I think I have a comic from them too around here. I had a t-shirt. I had their t-shirt. I should have wore it. Should have wore it. Actually, it probably would have been too tight on me. I might have turned some people off. You start seeing bulges and just love handles and Big like I, I'm a big guy anyway, but I don't think y'all want to see everything get all accentuated on my body. But uh, so I don't have much to talk about. Um, whatever y'all want to talk about, but I do want to show y'all some stuff that I had gotten. I gotten. Over the past week. Okay. Cool, cool. See you in a bit. See you in a minute. So, first, foremost, I got... I got some of these. Now, these are small ones. I got some big ones around here. All right, put some stuff up. But I got some small for like a few bucks. It's like three bucks, four bucks for these. But I bought a bunch of these, you know, for uh, helping display some of these figures. Which are your favorite tag teams, Lucha Brothers, and the New Day? Yeah, Lucha Bros and the New Day, favorite tag team, right now, right now. Ever? If we're talking about ever, oh, favorite tag team ever. That's a tough one. Um, I'd probably have to say the Dudley Boys. 
I really like the Dudley Boys. They, you know, they kind of reinvented themselves between ECW, WWE, um, TNA, back to WWE, and then and then they separated. I think Devon's still at WWE in the back, and Bubba is like doing the indie circuit. So, yeah, I will throw them in my favorite tag team ever. But right now, yeah, New Day. Especially when the Dudley Boys would throw people, would put people through a table, either with the the, the 3D or um, just a bubble bomb from the top rope. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. So now I'll show you what I picked up at a Target. So this one. So I got these. I got these. But these are for my my old man, for my dad. You know, he's done a lot. And I want to show my appreciation. Plus, he's the one that got me into watching the movie Flash Gordon. And if I had never seen the movie Flash Gordon, I would have never seen the cartoon defenders of the earth i think he used to watch a little bit of that too so i got these for him but but i had to get something for myself and i want you guys to realize this is the first time i've ever bought NECA figures the first time. What up, Lay Drone? Customs. Mr. Lay Drone, what's going on? Now, tell me, what was the first, like, you guys tell me, what, like, what Necker figure was the, your first? Because these, so what I got for myself were these two. So, I got Mang the Merciless and the Phantom, the ghost who walks, Lord of the Jungle, hero who stalks, the beasts call him brother, the ghost who walks. If you look on the back, it shows you what the whole set should be. So you got Ming, Phantom, Flash Gordon, Mandrake the Magician, and Lothor. Pretty, pretty dope. Pretty dope. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Like, I had to break down and get those just because I'd never had a NECA and I really like those. Most of you have seen some of this other stuff. But, this one I've been waiting on for months. And I mean months. I can't believe I waited longer for this. Yeah, trust me, the Street Fighters and those uh, Street Fighters 
and the Mortal Kombat figures, I keep thinking about it. Like if I did it, if I did a Street Fighter figure, it'd either be Vega, if they still have it, or Balrog, the boxer. Yeah. Or Akuma. But I'm sure Akuma's super popular. Super popular. So can't do that. But what we can do, I'll show you this. See, see? Oh yeah, no. Like, I think those are my three favorite figures, is Balrog, just representation. He's kind of like Mike Tyson, he's, Mike, he's like Mike Tyson. That's, see, that's the thing. People don't know that when they did Street Fighter, The name Bison, M. Bison, that's who they were going to call the, the boxer. Yeah. He was supposed to be called M. Bison, but it was too close to Mike Tyson. So they say, oh, no, we'll call the, the boss M. Bison, and we'll call this dude Barog. So Barog, used to, he was going to be Bison. But he looked like Mike Tyson, and they were giving him a name close to Mike Tyson. So, but Barog, I wanted Barog. Vega, I used to play with Vega in the game so much. I mean, I get my butt whooped sometimes, but I still play with the dude. Like, you would not believe. Oh, sh nice. Those Terminator figures look really good. I just can't afford to, to get into them. Always be good. Yes. Yes, they would. They got, yeah, I've got a couple of, I think I have the Thanos, the, the Infinity War Thanos, and I think I have a Dragon Ball. I think I have Kid Goku. Or Son Goku. Ilmatic Prime in the house. What's going on, brother? How's it going? Glad you could join us. Sometimes. Sometimes they say figure arts are cheaper. Cheaper than NECA, though? I don't know. Some NECAs are only like 30 bucks. SH figure arts. Sometimes they can get to like 60, 70 bucks, depending on how good you want it. So, yeah, I don't know. But the neck is, here's the thing. Like, there was a time I saw three different two packs of turtle neckers, two of the triceratons, one with a triceraton, and. The, the like the little turtle catcher whatever robots and then another one what was it oh it was something else but i was like i can't get into these one they were 50 dollars each so i couldn't do that that was 100 that would have been 150 i, mean, I could have I'm like, ah, I can't now. But two, nothing much, nothing much. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I think that Doc Brown is like, I saw somebody in a video today. Doc Brown at Walmart, I think, is like 11 bucks. They're 11 bucks right now. So I think they're trying to clear out some of the neck of the old neckers to bring in some new ones. From what I hear, what I hear, 
70 and up. Yeah, buddy. Woo I think like you get like storm collectibles. That's in it's that's in the storm collectibles range. I mean some of the storm collectibles can be like a hundred bucks too. So for NECA. For NECA. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, I ain't picking them up then. That's an expensive habit. Yeah, I might if I see a Doc Brown at a Walmart, I might pick them up. If it's still eleven bucks. That's eleven bucks for a NECA. NECA 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 NECA. I'll stop. I'll stop. Oh, cool, cool. So you must have just picked it up. That's cool. And it's always a good way to get started. The problem is, you get that one. That FOMO kicks in. And you start going, I got Doc Brown, but I don't have Marty. And then you go, which Marty should I get? Should I get Tales from Space Marty? Should I get Back to the Future 2 Marty? The hoverboard. Should I get Back to the Future, Marty? The guitar, and it goes, and then you start spiraling out, and then you go, oh man, should I get Biff too? Ah. So that's the only reason I haven't. Like I, that's the only reason I didn't buy any turtles. No Back to the Future. No Predator. No Alien, no Kong, no Godzilla, because no Nightmare on Elm Street, Jason, Ghostface, none of them. Because if I buy one type, usually I'll have to, I'll wind up going, well, I got this Freddy, but I need this Freddy because he's got this in there and all the accessories in there. And you go, yeah, do I really want that? Does it go with the collection? So I go, nope, you don't bond with this collection. No, no, no. Yeah. I mean, they, trust me, they look good. I mean, I love what NECA does. I just can't get into a new habit. Oh, uh, well, Toy Slammer, go to Walmart, see if you see a Doc Brown. It's only 11 bucks. You can at least get a Marty and a Doc Brown. Only eleven bucks. Yeah, it's freaking crazy, just how crazy this stuff is. Oh yeah, yeah, that one looks cool. Like, if I did do, if I had a Doc and a Marty, it'd probably be those two. Like, it'd be the Doc with the Marty with the skateboard from Back to the Future 2. Just because I like that one. Blah, 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 blah. I like that one. Crazy. See? See, that's what I'm talking about. Because if I start buying bad guys, then I'm like, well, this just doesn't even out. I need turtles, but I can't have, these are cartoon turtles, these are cartoon villains. I need the cartoon turtles. I can't have the movie turtles or the video game turtles fighting with the cartoon villains. That just doesn't make sense. It all has to flow together. So that's why I had to fight myself on buying them, because I'm like, uh, maybe, maybe not. Ah, uh, no, I'll stay away from it. I had to fight that urge, that FOMO urge. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Then, you, then you get, or if you get the villains, then you need the turtles. But if you get the turtles, then you'll need Master Shr- Master Splinter. But then you have the bad guys. You're gonna need Krang and Shredder because you need a leader. Can't just have a bunch of henchmen. I just have to go. Usa. Usa. But when I saw this thing right here, ooh, right there, ooh, I had to have it. I have, I'll just show you. Look at that. I had to have that. So nice, so nice, so nice, so nice. Now, even the back is like really nice. And like, when you like push it out, like, look at that. Ooh. This one was not self-control. This one, not self-control. This one was an impulse because I had to get it quick if I wanted it. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Just in case something falls out. Buddy, just open that nice and slow. Ooh. Man, I've been waiting months for this. So, for now, keep it in the box. Because I'm a key. Oh, you know what? Do that. Like, look at that. Just look at that. that. Nice. Like, this box could just sit right there. and a half. Look at that. Look at that. Even like a, it's a cloth cape. It's a cloth cape. This is for those who are who haven't decided not to take them out the box. I will show you. It is. It truly is. But this one is completely worth it. Who buddy? Oh, yeah, buddy. You looking right at it, too. Got your eyes trained on it. And this stuff doesn't want to come out the box. 
There we go. There we go. Got a nice little scepter, a little cobra scepter. Yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about. Whatever. So, that is a freaking awesome cape. Like, look at. So look at this cape. Let's see. I don't know if I can see it. There's elastic right here to hold the cape on. Like, there's elastic on both sides. And then, like, right up close. I don't know, you can see the symbol, but it's got little Cobra logos on there. Cobra! All I need is a Serpentor and a classic Storm Shadow for the Classify, and I'd be good. I know, I know. That is why I had to get this. Little cobra sword. Put that. Sheet that. Sheet that in there. Got his golden gun. Put that on the other side. Eventually it'll go in there. There we go. That's in there. Then you get the little like globe ball. You can see his hand. It's open like that. So you can hold it. I am Supreme Commander. Cobra Commander. Before me, bow as I hold the entire world in my hands. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yo, what y'all talking about? What y'all talking about? What's going on, off world? How's it going, my man? I'm glad you're here. I gotta check out that new logo you got. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, if you're gonna get it, get it now. I 
I need a Serpentor. Yes. I need a classic, yes, classic Storm Shadow. You know, on Big Bad Toys, they've got a Sergeant Slaughter. It's not for the G.I. Joe, because I don't think they have they don't, I don't think they have Sergeant Slaughter rights anymore. But it's through Action Force, which is Valiverse. They have a Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, give me a second. Let's check out Sergeant Slaughter. So, JC, take a look at this. Take a look at this. You looking for that Sergeant Slaughter? There's your Sergeant Slaughter. Some big bad toys. Oh yeah, yeah. What's going on, sleeping? Since you're here, you're just in time. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you can see kind of some pictures of her close up, fully decked out. Yeah, you can. So take a look at that. I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> so I was going to show you guys. Um, for those of you that missed WrestleMania, um, John Joker, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Joker, said he was going to send me something. And this. This is what he sent. This hot toy is what he sent. Yeah, Sarge was wicked. And so. Like, look, <clears throat> this stuff is so big. They even give you like a list of people who worked on the figure. The figure. I have never seen this before. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I was talking to him about weeks ago. Seriously? Y'all hiding stuff, huh? Y'all hiding stuff? No. Thanks, though. Man. This is... Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. So... One of the plastics came off. I haven't decided what I'm doing with him yet or where he's going. I 
just take that off. But look at that. Where it can, like where it moves, the plastic is so flexible in it, like so that it's able to move along with it, and it doesn't seem stiff. Wow. This. Oh my goodness, this. Like, I don't know how. I don't know. I don't want to, like, I didn't want to take the, I don't want to take the plastic off. I don't, it's coming out the box. That's for sure. But just not yet. Just not yet. I mean, look, it comes with, it comes with open claw hands. And then, so he's got, so these are open claw hands with no nails, and these are open claw hands with nails. And it comes with uh, some beads. Dude, for a first time, Hot toy? Dude, you can't ask for nothing nothing better. You can't ask for nothing better. You can't ask for nothing better. What's up, cool guy? Man. Well, thank you to you both. Mostly John Joker, but thank you to you both. Yeah. No, just, just thank you. Like, I don't know, like, I don't know how to, I don't know how I ever say thank you other than just thank you. What is going on? What's up? Gay Brophy? Oh yeah, very first, very, very first hot toy. And like for a first hot toy, this is fantastic. I know you guys probably can't see it, Top on my shelf right now on the shelf, but well, maybe that's maybe that's a hand plastic. Mm. But I have a re I reposted up on my shelf. My uh, all right, put that back in there. I got my Black Panther shelf back up. You know what I mean? I got Black Panther shelf up so. Who knows? Maybe what I'll do. Oh, you know what? Oh, let's see if you guys can see up here. Can you see that? So, 
I'll probably put this up here. If it goes. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. Put that up there. Y'all might be able to see this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. But yeah, see that? That's like my Black Panther shelf right there. So. Whoop, whoop. Ooh. A little rough. Oh, let's see. Where are we at? Where are we at? So, I still got one more. I still got one more shelf right there. I need to put up. I'll do that before I go on vacation. Do the hot toy dance. You're going to make me... You see, you already got me, got me perspiring, got me sweating. Kind of forever. Oh. Yeah, that's his, that's his dad. That's T'Chaka. T'Challa's dad. Oh, you just... I don't know. Not much, you know. Showed a uh, Supreme Cobra Commander. Supreme Leader Cobra Commander. And a hot toy. Nothing big. But, but, now all of you are going to go, man, that hot toy must have been the biggest thing, huh? Maybe for most people, maybe. Samoa, no, yeah, Samoa Joe. Oh, is it? I just don't get it. I understand the whole business thing. Keep talking about business, business, business. I got it, but. Joe didn't even get it. Like, he got a shot at the title, but he didn't get even a taste of holding that title. I don't even remember how many times he held a mid-card title. I mean, I know he's held it a couple times. I mean, he was champion NXT. But, dude, like I was saying earlier, Samoa Joe, Billy Kay, Peyton Royce, the three people I am more upset got let go than anybody else because I felt like Samoa Joe, yeah, he was up there in age, but he could, I felt like he could still go. He should have had at least a run with the major title. Like, you should have had Samoa Joe take on Kofi and beat. He should have been the one to beat Kofi or, I don't know. It was, or have Samoa Joe beat freaking Jinder Mahal when Jinder Mahal had the title. Or have Samoa Joe beat AJ Styles back when he had the title. You had so many times to give Joe the ball and you blew it. You blew it. Because you're trying to pump up Roman Reigns. I mean, now he's pumped up, but he wasn't at the time. He was just there. Did Joe have the universal title? Wait a minute. Samoa Joe had the universal title. Mm -hmm. 
Wait a minute. Samoa Joe never won the Universal title. He's had shots of me. Okay. You got me like, what? I mean, Billy Kay. Here's another thing. Billy Kay and Samoa Joe were actually shown at WrestleMania. Billy Kay had a match at WrestleMania. Samoa Joe was on commentary at WrestleMania. He had to sit in the rain with a freaking raincoat on at WrestleMania. And you're telling me you're going to let them go? AEW, Impact, ROH, New Japan, they'll all take them. They will all take them. He should have beaten Brock. He should have beaten Roman. He should have beaten Kofi. He should have beaten AJ. He should have beaten Gender. I don't give a flying f- who. There are so many options. But yeah, that was small Joe kind of hit close. I I remember Joe from TNA and here he you know the funny thing is, I think in TNA he may have only won the championship once or twice. I don't think he was a major player there. Like he was in the main event. I don't think he won the title that much either. So I think Joe is just destined to be like somebody that chases a title. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's cool. That's cool. No, just went through some, you know, had a hot toy, showed a hot toy, showed Cobra Commander, you know, showed some figures. Not much. Yeah, money's great, but, you know, you, you like to see them do what they love to do. And they didn't get to do nothing. I don't know. He was one, he was a really good commentator. I liked him in commentating, you know, because he gave some legitimacy to some of these people. Plus, he was kind of funny and informative. Oh, that's cool. You should film it. Film opening the package. Put the video up, you know, so everybody can see, you know, what you got. Yeah, he was. I went back. Like, when I saw him in TNA, I went back to, I started watching him in ROH, some, like, clips and stuff. Dude, he was a monster. Like he was back in the AJ Styles day, the Daniel Bryan, the Brian Danielson days, the CM Punk days. So you, you know, he was, he was, he was a beast. He was a, you know, he's a, he was a. Modern day version. He was a, at that time the modern day version of Taz. Human suplex machine. Here's the thing. And this is gonna be an unpopular thing, unpopular statement. No, I don't think he should go to AEW. Because other than what John Moxley, Dean Ambrose. Um, or Chris Jericho, Miro, they're going to start using him now. Okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Um, Sean Spears, he's been there since day one and they're just now going to start using him still as a mid Carter. He's not a championship. He's not main Venner. He's a mid Carter. 
he Joe should either go to Impact, NWA. I wouldn't send him to ROH because I feel like ROH is still too small. But I feel like Impact is a good spot because there's not too many big stars in Impact. They're all like within the Impact family. I think there are some big stars, but I don't think there's like global big name stars at Impact. And I think Joe could bring some serious legitimacy to there. I mean, Impact, the biggest maybe now is Kenny Omega, but also Matt Cardona, Brian Myers. You know, those are probably the closest big names that are in Impact. Rich Swan is, uh, Moose is probably, you know, Moose is definitely up there. But Samoa Joe goes there? Samoa Joe goes there? Ooh. Skyrocket. But the problem becomes when you get Joe in, shouldn't Joe? be going for that title right away like it's hard to build him up when he's already built up like he should be in the main event <clears throat> but they got the whole kenny omega aw impact rich swan thing going on so unless sam samoa joe is going to be the one to beat him maybe but cool cool Yep, yep. G Force Racing 2020. What's going on, my man? How you doing, brother? Just sitting here talking a little wrestling. Like I said, I think Moose is bigger than Rich Swan, just star wise. But I think some old thing. So here's the thing. I think Brian Myers could, I mean, for Impact, he could be the champion one day in a couple years. Matt Cardona, I think, could be a champion sooner. But the problem is, like I said, they got this whole story going, going and Kenny's going to hold the title for a good while. So I think once that whole AEW stuff is in there, Samoa Joe should be the first one to get the title and he should have a good long run with that title. And then somebody like a Matt Cardona comes in, beats him. Or a Moose. I don't see anybody else. Maybe a Sammy Callahan. Maybe. But I can't see him in ROH. NWA, maybe. But if he doesn't go to Impact, I mean, he could go to he could go to AEW, but there's just so many like there's just so many people in AEW from WWE. It feels like WCW. So, I mean, I think Peyton Royce and maybe even Billy Kay, maybe they go to AEW. She joins her husband. Or maybe Billy Kay goes her own way. Maybe she goes NWA or Impact. I can see. I can see Peyton Royce and Billy Kay going to Impact, being a tag team, vying for the tag team titles at Impact. I can see that. Yeah, Leo Rush. I don't know. He just never felt like he fit there. Period. Felt like he uh felt like he just you know he's he it felt like he never felt like conforming to whatever they wanted. So uh, 
No, I heard you. I got you. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I can't wait to see that video. That should be pretty cool. I can't wait to find out. Don't tell me. I want to watch the video. I can't wait to find out what you got from uh, Big Bad Toys. That should be pretty cool. Um, I mean, you got like who else got released? Mojo Riley. Don't care. Oh, Bo Dallas. You realize ever since WrestleMania, even a little bit before, people have been talking about Bo Dallas joining the, you know, the Wyatt family. That would have been perfect. Bo Dallas turns out to be who the Fiend was, even though it didn't look like him. You know, it looked like Bray Wyatt, but it could have been Bo Dallas. Could have been his brother. And like, there's just missing opportunities here. Oh, Jesus. And, and, so they release all these people, right? They release all these people. Ten people. Ten wrestlers get released. But yet and still, Aleister Black is under contract. So they're afraid of Aleister Black. That's what it is. They're afraid because they like they must see potential in him. Either that or he really is like super hurt. But they must really see potential in him if they haven't released him. On this is this is their annual re- release date, and they ain't releasing movies; they release wrestlers. So they haven't released Aleister Black, but they released Bo Dallas. They released Samoa Joe, Peyton Royce, and Billy Kay. Billy Kay has been doing some fantastic stuff. Like she makes me laugh. Uh, anytime, like if I'm fast forward and I see her, I go, "Whoa, hold on, I have to watch this. I have to watch this." So, yeah, he should have been. It should have been no question, especially now with the whole Firefly Funhouse thing, like. Bo Dallas was all about Bo Lee and that whole Bo Lee positive stuff. You could have turned that into another character on the Firefly Funhouse. Mr. Bo Lee could have been his name. He could have been so positive and so just uplifting. And it would have been Bo Lee and Bray Wyatt. And they could have been a tag team. Could have gone for the tag team titles. Sorry, I'm I'm doing my own booking right now. Yes. Yes, boom. But speaking of wrestling. So this right here is my last thing to show y'all. I got I got this nice little sticker some bubble wrap so before I get into it oh can you already see it did y'all already see it Look at this. So I got these two. And I'm missing, I was missing one. And I've been trying to track one down for a decent price. This is okay. 
expect a little bit more than I thought I would. But I know it's fresh and I know it's in the box. So knowing it's in the box means I know it's clean. I know it's new, even though it's an old figure. Like, look at who's on the back. Like, look at that. The only people that are there are Xavier Woods and Naomi. That's it. Hideo Itami, Naomi, Dean Ambrose, Xavier Woods, Ultimate Warrior, and John Cena. That's who all was on there. This is... It's basic series something something. But Woo. Mm. 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 Oh. Finally. There's only Two more figures I need that have New Day logos on it. Like, I say they're part of the New Day. Two more. And one of them has a matching outfit with the other, the other two. The other one doesn't match, but it's closer. You know, it's still got a New Day logo, even though they didn't put a matching set. So now, look at that. Now, 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 look at that. Yeah, Big E, light blue with a dark blue. Kofi, light blue, dark blue. And then now, Xavier, light blue, dark blue. I mean, you guys know how it feels. To feel complete. How it feels to have another part of your collection just be complete. So. Oh. So, but that's it for my collection haul. Huh? What'd you guys get this week? Anybody pick up anything cool? Awesome, fun, different, funky, fresh. I'm looking at some stuff on Makari. Trying to see if I can get that other piece to my new date set or get some more Kofi Kingston figures. Cause I only got like, maybe like half or a third of the Kofi Kingston figures ever made. So trying to take, trying to take the label off. y'all pick up we ordered that johnny gargano oh yeah i got the i ordered the gargano christian what was the other one it was gargano christian i didn't get the orton i got the other one i forget but I got three out of the four. I mean, I would have gotten all four. It was like a Build-A-Figure piece. 
X-Pac. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I got that X-Pac. Because I ain't trying to get any NWO figures I can. I saw there's a Wolfpack Scott Hall coming out soon. So I'm going to try and get that. But yeah, X Pac, Christian, and Gargano. Gargano. Christian, just because he's at AEW now. So like, oh, let me pick this up before it like skyrockets in price. Christian! Christian! And now you're on your Oh, wow. I didn't even notice this. So the box that came with the sticker and Xavier Woods also came with a card. Rusev card. Rusev. Petrif. Rusev. Matska. Which is cool. Add in the card. You didn't pick it up? You didn't pre-order it? Or is it did it did the pre-order close? Cause yeah. As soon as that was available, boom. Cause I was like, I thought I saw people playing with them already. I'm like, why is it I don't see them online? And then it's like, oh, because we haven't put the pre-order out. Hmm. People said they already pre-ordered. Oh really? Oh wow. Damn, that sucks. Oh, yeah. I try. That's why when I heard they were announcing figures, I'm like, okay, I gotta pay attention. Gotta pay attention. Luckily, I was out of work at the time. Like I finished work that day and I was done for the week. So I decided I was gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get like an hour of sleep. And then I'm going to get an hour of sleep, and then I'm going to catch this live when they did the reveals before WrestleMania. Oh, really? Holy crap. Wow. Yeah. Not even the Randy Orton. I figured the Orton would have stayed available because it's this Orton. There's so many of them. But Christian, Gargano, and Xbox, it's pretty rare to get them. Yeah, but I got a shelf. That's kind of like a... It's my too sweet shelf. Because you got I got NWO up here. So I got a, I got a Hogan. I got a uh, Scott Hall, NWO, like the black and white NWO. And then I got a Kevin Nash, Wolfpack, NWO. And then I got a Razor Ramon up there too. That's because Razor Ramon, Scott Hall. And then like the next level, like so it's on one of these trays. Next level, boom. I got DX, Triple H. It's Triple H. It was from the two packs. It was Triple H in China. So Triple H with the robe. And then Shawn Michaels with like DX pants. He had like, it had like the shirt. I had like the shirt. And he had a DX hat. I don't like that either. And then below that, it's the Bullet Club. It's the first two leaders. So Balor, so it's Demon Balor on both sides. And then AJ in the middle. So, I have a Kenny Omega, but uh, I'm not ready to put him up there yet. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. So, you got you probably got the Decade of Domination one. You probably got a recent one. And then you're going to have that one, right? Is that like, what's that? Is that like the... 
Is that the legend killer? Randy Orton? Or is that face Randy Orton? <clears throat> the fan takeover. I don't know. It just, that Randy Orton just didn't, like, he's okay. My wife loves Randy Orton. Loves him. I don't get it. But hey, whatever Randy Orton can do to get my wife to watch more wrestling, I don't care. Have a good one, sir. We'll talk again. Yeah, that's what I figured. Because there's not too many versions of Randy. I mean, you've got, like I said, you've got, you know, young Randy, which is the decade of domination. And then you got whatever the current Randy is. I don't know if it's bald head or Randy. And then... Um, I mean, you go if you can find, maybe you can get like there's a difference. I don't know if there's a difference. Find an evolution, Randy, but that Randy is kind of the same as like rookie Randy, just maybe a little less hair. Sorry, I missed the expo. Oh, no. I was just talking about like <clears throat> we were talking about fan takeover figures. They uh, put out some figures before WrestleMania for pre-order on Amazon fan takeover. So it's like the fans had a chance to pick three different outfits for four different wrestlers in series two. Well, they did a series one and now they do series two. Series one, I picked up the Shayna and the uh, Adam Cole. Because I needed an Adam Cole. I didn't really want that one. I was hoping they'd do one with Camo, but I needed an Adam Cole, period. But Series 2, it was Randy Orton, Christian, Johnny Gargano, and X-Pac. And the X-Pac that won was NWO X-Pac, which is cool. I'll pick up anytime I see any NWO figures at retail. I'm not paying, you know, scalper prices for wrestling figures. I mean, depends. Depends on the wrestler. But, nah. I ain't paying scalper prices for them. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Speak to my wife about that. She loves them. Mm. Like, okay, calm down. Was it good? Was what good? The hell? The hell? What was, what, what, what was good? What? I mean, if you're talking about, like, them talking about the figures, yeah, it was good. Because he found out a, a lot of figures. Came out. Like I said, I picked up that Cactus Jack. I pre-ordered that on Ringside because it's a Ringside exclusive. You only get it from there. Plus, it comes with the ECW tag team titles. They talked about some Legends figures. Not a big Legends figure person, but some of them look pretty cool. Vader, I'm looking at getting. Bam Bam Bigelow. I think Vader, Vader already wins. Pre-sale, pre-order, Target. Screw Target. <sighs> Target. Mm. I, ain't, I ain't messing with no Target. So Justin Robertson, the sleep, I think. Oh, um, maybe. Did you pass on the John Cena? No. You know what? I think I actually... Did I pre-order it? I was either going to pre-order it or I was thinking about it. I think I may have pre-ordered it. Because 
I'm thinking about doing a um, figure photography and having different versions of John Cena from the Firefly Funhouse. I'm really thinking about that. That match that he had with Bray Wyatt. Because that was one. And then I think in the Legends series, it's either Legends or an Elite. There's supposed to be a John Cena in there. Yeah, there's a few. There's a couple of John Cenas. And I, I don't like John Cena figures. But I, I kind of have to. Like, I like Bray Wyatt. And I want to utilize them. And I've got the Firefly Funhouse Bray set. I think I just need the John Cena that has Huskus the Pig in it, too. Oh, no, the Bray Wyatt. Who has Huskus? Oh, God. Now I think, do I have to get that, too? Because I don't like that Bray. Uh, this is killing me. It's killing me. Oh, but now that we're talking about ringside, I think this week is the last week for their deal. And um, it's the last time I'm going to pimp out ringside. Told you. They stands. Dope. Get them. Buy as much as you can. Super dope. Ringside's got a deal. $2.50. For a whole pack. A whole pack. You can get. I think you can get. Gray, clear, and black. It's either gray, clear, and black. Or white, clear, and black. But I think it's gray, clear, and black. I don't like the gray. But clear and black. Yeah. Get it. If you can get it, get it. I have it. It's nice. It's super nice. Like I said, as soon as I can get stuff situated around here, I have a space that I can do like I, I would want to do some photography of and do some like just do some pictures or some stuff. So I'm really itching to do that. But before you guys head on out of here, what I want to say, what I want to tell you guys is we're almost at 300. 300. And so what I'm looking at doing, what I'm thinking about doing, If you're going to do a Bray, do the Ultimate Edition Bray. Because you get the you get the Fiend belt in that too. Do the Bray Wyatt Funhouse exclusive and do the Ultimate Fiend. Do that one. You get the belt. I mean, you can get the other Elite. But I, if you, if you, if you, if look, if money's no issue, get both, get all of it. But if money is issue and you got to pick which one, I'd say Firefly Funhouse exclusive first, and then the Ultimate Edition. Oh, you have the Ultimate Edition. Okay, then get the Elite. I would get that Funhouse exclusive first before they sell out. They just got some in stock, so you should get it really quickly. Order that now. And then get the Elite. Because if you're talking about the Bray Elite, 
that comes with the Huskus the pig. Because I'm thinking about getting that too. I don't care for the prey. Unfortunately, the Huskus the pig though. That's the only way you can get Huskus. To get complete on them puppets. Them puppets. But like I said, we are at almost at 300. And what I want to show you guys. Is this look at that? So, look at this, this stuff right here. Motu, some Marvel, some a couple DC, Star Trek, and then you get into a lot of wrestling figures. I mean, you get some Zack Ryder, WCW, some Hasbro's. You know, you get three AJs, some. Tell and some jacks, some minis, some Funkos. So, what I'm thinking about you guys is doing something. Where <sighs> kind of doing something where it's kind of like a care package. Where if you guys or when you guys or whoever wins, uh, let's say you win. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a mess around here. So let's say you guys, maybe you win this Batman. This is from Wizard World, Chicago in 2004. Maybe you win that. You know, I don't know if anybody's looking for a He Man. Maybe you win a He-Man. You win a He-Man. Hmm. Maybe, maybe you still looking for a Razor Ramon. Who knows? Maybe, maybe. Hmm. But what I'm thinking about doing is all those other figures all those loose figures over here. All these loose figures right here. All those loose figures right there. Look at that. There's three levels of some loose figures. Free. If anybody, if you win a contest, who knows? Maybe I'll just put something together and give you guys some figures. If it, or if you're just interested in some of them, there's Hasbro's there Jimmy Snooker, Piper, Rockers. But if anybody's interested, hey. Thanks for showing up, bro. Thanks for showing up.
Thanks, Queek. Thank you. Yeah, that's that stuff is more like all this stuff right here is more of a prize wall than anything than my collection. Collection is behind me. But if anybody's interested, I got Mattel, Arn, and Tully Blanchard. They're in AW now. I've got old school Heart Foundation with blue trunks. Got some little Motus up there. Got a treble. You know, do a care package. So for 300 and 400, try and do a care package. You know, like I said, if somebody wins this, then maybe you might get some Motu stuff too. There's even a flocked panther up there. Flocked panther. Come on. Doesn't want doesn't anybody want a flock panther? So if anybody wants a flock panther, come on, you know. Let's let's you know. See if anybody wants to, you know, if anybody's interested in this channel. That's why I always ask you. Please share the channel out. Let people, you know, find out about the goodness that is this channel. Because honestly, if anybody's interested, you know, if or if some, like I said, or somebody wants to work out a deal and you're like, hey, you know, can I see this, 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 and this, and this? You can work out a deal. You know, it doesn't even have to be in a contest. So, but yeah. But on that, folks, family, friends, because we family. Thank you again. <laughs> Yoink. Yoink. Oh yeah. No, that was uh that was the prize wall, you know, for packages. If anybody's interested, if anybody um I have some pack some stuff in packages, but Usually it's stuff I'm gonna keep. I don't have a lot of stuff out of the box or in the box. Um, I got some cheap Ninja Turtles in the box. Three out of the four Ninja Turtles. But no, most of the stuff's, at least on that wall, it's all loose. So, I don't know. I'm trying something new, seeing if anybody's interested or nobody's interested in the loose figures. Uh, I'll try something different. See if, any, like I said, just testing stuff out, seeing what people like. But, like I said, on that note. It is about, it's almost five o'clock. Um, it's almost dinner time. Plus, my brother is about to go do his live stream. Let's, let's check that out. This. So, you know, like I said, if anybody's interested, like I said, it's a lot of wrestling figures, Hasbro, Jax, Toy Biz for WCW, Mattel, Basic, Elites, um, Funko, Minis, anything. Like, 
And if you're like, hey, I need some figures for like a figure fed or photography or something, let me know. You know, we can talk. You know, I can do a Instagram video or whatever. If you want a more in depth look at them, got a DDP already up for that self high five. But um, but yeah, on that note, please, if you are interested or if you like watching Twitch gamers, my brother's kind of funny. And he I know he does voices in the games, not for real, not for real, but in the games, he does voices. And he does some voices for like characters. I don't know if anybody's ever watched or played uh, Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. He, he plays that a lot, plays Civilization, um, Stardew Valley. He's trying to get his brewery up. So, and he sometimes he'll he may even wear, you know, one of those uh, what's it like, like uh, he he got like this dinosaur like onesie type pajama thing or whatever like a robe or something. So he'll wear some of that stuff, you know. He's got like a nice little purple background and stuff, and he's supposed to be starting up soon, like right now. So, if you guys are interested, please. Check out my brother's Twitch channel. You know, you can follow his channel. You may even, uh, you know, if you, you know, if you ever get that chance to help him out, that'd be cool. So I just posted his Twitch channel in the chat. So. Oh, sweet. 20 likes. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. Man. I'd be happy if I got like five. You got 20. Wow. I mean, we had a good, decent amount of people for a while, which was pretty good. So happy. But yeah, so, but if anybody's ever interested, let's, let's try and get to 300 guys. Let's get, let's, let's get up there. Let's get to 300. Let's get to 400. Cause I'm thinking about something for five. So five, five, thinking about something cool for a prize. Five, 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 alive. But, you know, I don't want to say what it is because I'm not sure if it's going to stick that way or not. But if you do, that'd be cool. And if you do head over to my brother's page, just let him know, you know, I sent you over. Be like, hey, just came over from your brother. Cause he was already he was in here earlier, and so oh yeah, sweet. Yeah, I'm trying to get him get his channel up so he can get to a point where he can actually start making money because he needs a job. So I need to get him. A, Little help, help, little hand up, not a hand out. But thank you guys again for coming in. Peace, love, and just stay positive, guys. It's another episode on the next thing about it show. Thank you.